stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the build-up, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. The notorious Conor McGregor, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce effing Lee. Set to fight the notorious Conor McGregor. Our tale of the day for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> The challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. How good is this? A fight that many of us thought we would never see. Conor McGregor and Bruce Lee, they have locked the door behind. I mean, you gotta think that Conor in his fight stance, some of it is based off of Bruce Lee. Watching Bruce Lee compete, the fluidity that he moves with. Conor has a movement coach. It seems as though Bruce Lee has this just naturally. Right. It's a swagger about him, something that he carries that not many fighters possess. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. That is a damage. 
good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on war. These guys said that they were going to point to this into the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Well, you see Conor McGregor land the left hand and then move out of harm's way in terms of distance management, DC. Nobody does it better than this guy. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Towards the left now. Lands a jab. Oh! You heard a bad. Good body work with that hook by McGregor. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Just out of range with that left hook. to the body. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Most quickly gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test now the Well, now these kicks. Oh, he has to evade Stan's face. Oh, just opening up on him now. Big right hand. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. He's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Slips to avoid the right. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Nice shot. Lands downstairs. Oh. Round two next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so Jarzinho Rosenstrike versus Alistair Overeem. It is not. But let us look back at some of the replays from that round because there's a cut on the lip now that he's got to deal with. As long as I ain't never got to see nothing like that again in my entire life, <laughs> I'm okay calling fights. And this cut is not that. But... It was the perfect shot that landed in the right spot that opened up that cut on the lip. All right, so we will see if the cut man can do Ready anything fight. about that and for Ready. the fighter, try to raise his guard and be more sound defensively in this next round. All right, next round is now underway. DC How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, my goodness. 
All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. McGregor's cut above the eye. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Let's go. Let's open up that cut a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, and now a big left hand. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. Just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success. You know, why change it? It's working. And it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw... This is big. That's big. Just over three minutes to go in round two. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a Oh! No, oh, he got him again. Keep Massive head kick. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute pistol. Back to his feet. Oh, with authority, the body. Misses again with a right punch. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both. Oh, he's on wobble legs now well that body kick was there earlier not there on that attempt under two minutes to go Lee's eye is starting to swell shut lands a solid kick right there well at this point he's got to be way up on the judges scorecards clearly winning the fight and largely has gotten it done with his striking time Got it done with a strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up kill. The kill shot is what they call it to go and get the fight. Oh, slips to avoid the right. He hurt him. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Boom! Big jab. 30 seconds to go in the round. Effective lead right hand there by Lee. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. 
DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. To he will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired thing. Round three of a possible five. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down for it. Lands a quick jab. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Spinning back fist. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Huge oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice, nice. McGregor's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, What a great fight, damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby, somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Head off the center line. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible. What a fight. Just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. That was good. Oh. oh, nice body shot. One. Well, the ref's gonna step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there, nose job? <laughs> but John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy right. continue, but here we go. Right. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway. Oh, he landed. He hurt him. Now he's 
back up. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Lee's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice jab by Lee. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Winding down in round three. All right, All right three rounds down, potentially stop, stop, two more stop. to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, man, take a seat. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's gonna have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Nice open gut. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish and we need it fast. Ready. Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh. oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Slips. Oh! He's got one in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. The Gregor's... And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day.